This was our player, this is it now, this was the environment, this is it now, this was a first person game, well now it's a third person, this was the multiplayer, oh yeah, there was no multiplayer, well this is it now. Okay, okay, stop. I didn't say it was perfect. To be honest, it looks like a completely different game now. I worked my ass off for the past month. Let's talk about how I added multiplayer with no experience and how I transformed the game core systems to add more polish. If you are new, this is Airdrift. Survival game inspired by Raft, where you build airships and explore. If it sounds interesting, I think you won't regret hitting these two buttons. So, multiplayer, huh? Ah, uh, that's a pretty big change. You guys really wanted this game to be multiplayer, and I get it. Adding Cobb would suit this game so much. I recently tried searching for chill games to play with friends, and I couldn't find many. Imagine building your airship and going through the adventure together. I think we have to do it. There was this tiny, tiny little problem. Anyway, multiplayer networking is something you should get into your game early on, because adding multiplayer onto a single player game is almost impossible. Hitting this with zero multiplayer experience in Unity is kind of scary. I doubled with multiplayer with some of my Unreal games. Uh, okay, don't judge me on these. I'm not really proud of them. Um, <clears throat> Game where you play pool by shooting into balls. And yeah, Rocket League. Rocket League with legs. Uh, in the hindsight, calling them games is overselling it. So you know, coming into Unity and transforming the whole game was a huge task. Before we dig deeper, let's quickly talk about 5 things I changed. I started playing Breath of the Wild and I really really like the UI. Uh, on a completely different note, I changed the UI in Airdrift. It has animation, cool hit effects and more. Do you like this change? I've added overlay for stuff you can interact with. When you get close, it will tell you the button hint and what it does. I also added overlay when you're building to see what resources are needed. You can sit now. Yeah. This was a very important change, I know. I updated the main menu and I changed all the text in the game to use a different font. And lastly, I've added enemies with simple AI, animation, hit effects and drops. This will have to be updated, but you know, it's a start. Okay, I'm so glad I caught you up to speed. Now let's go back to the main topic, multiplayer. It turns out when you get through a few days of constant pain and regret, you start to understand it a bit. Still, uh, let me remind you, this is the game, so I don't understand it completely, but you know, better than nothing. Also, if these words discourage you, uh, I will tell you this. If you feel like your single player game could use some multiplayer, just give it a go. Like, try it for a week. If you get nowhere, you can at least acknowledge that you tried. It's now easier than ever to start with multiplayer. Unity released their own network solution, NGO, Network with Game Objects. I will leave some useful links down below so you can try to learn. Airdrift was designed as a single player game. All the systems were expecting one player, so while introducing multiple, I have to rewrite a lot of stuff. With most of the popular networking solutions, syncing movement and animation is really easy, like you just need to add a component and write a few lines of code and it's, it's done. I love it. 
But for the systems that are more specific to your game, you will need to call server RPCs or sync variables and stuff, but it's not that bad. I've added more and more multiplayer features, I need the ability to ping in every game. Super useful to communicate with other players, so yeah, we got it. I also added chat, name tags, invite friend option and steam hosting and more. It's already so fun to play with friends even in these early stages. I'm so glad I decided to give multiplayer a try. What do you think? Are you excited about the future of Eldrift? That's it for this update video. If you like this video, I guarantee you will enjoy this one where I updated the graphics of Eldrift. See you in the next one. Bye.